What's up guys, it's Harab the Plug and you're welcome back to my channel and you know on this channel we talk about crypto trading, forex trading, technical analysis, money making, how to make money online and all those stuff. So if that interests you, consider subscribing to this channel. And also in this video I'll be talking about 4 reasons why a lot of forex traders fail. A lot of forex traders complain, I've blown this account, someone will say I've blown 5 accounts, I've blown 7 accounts. I've blown 10 pro farms account and stuff like that. What are the four reasons why people blow accounts in the forex trading market? So let's get right into this content. Forex market is a very big market and the forex market trades about $6 trillion every day. And you know $6 trillion is a lot of money. No financial market in the world trades as much as the forex market in a day. So now you as a trader, with just 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 50,000, 100,000, 1 million dollars, you are a retail trader. Which means that the, you are just a small fish in the big ocean. And you know what? In this big ocean, there are a lot of sharks, a lot of whales, a lot of big fishes who are preying, P R A Y, who are preying on you, just the small fish. So it is very easy for a lot of traders who are retail traders. To lose a lot of money in the market because of some of the factors around the financial market and i'll be highlighting all those reasons and i'll be giving you solutions to these reasons in this video so make sure you stick around till the end and hit the like button so that this video gets to a lot of people so now looking at the fact that the forest market is a big market and it has a lot of liquidity a lot of traders we have the institutional traders like the banks, the HSBC banks, all those big banks in the US, in the UK, the financial institutions, the insurance companies, and all these companies with millions and billions of dollars trading the market against you, who you are just trading with 10,000, 5,000, and even less. So you have to understand some things that you must do. One of the reasons why Forex feel that too, the first one is that they not maintaining trading discipline. Trading requires a lot of discipline to be successful. And this discipline cuts across how you look at the market, how you analyze the market, how you execute your trade, and how you think when you are in a trade. Sometimes people, people pass the first few things I said, I've just said. So people know how to analyze the market, they understand all the technical analysis concepts and how to put them into a trade. Some people, they understand how to place the trade, but they do not understand how to think when, you are, when they are in a trade. And that is one of the reasons why a lot of people fail, not maintaining enough discipline. Some people, their problem is that they cannot just stick to their rules. So these are the reasons so why Forex Trader trade. So if you're a Forex Trader, you have to make sure that you have a discipline. You have discipline in trading. And that means you have to set rules for yourself. Write them down. Paste it somewhere in your house. Whenever you want to take trade, don't take any trade without going to look at those rules. And once you look at those rules, after looking at them, then go back to your screen and place that trade. So make sure you maintain a discipline, a rule-based trading. The second reason is not having a trading plan. There is a difference between discipline and plan, even though they, are, uh, they work together. But the plan is just about what do you see in the charts that's going to make you take a trade? Okay, what kind of tra trader are you? Do you trade liquidity concept? Do you trade support and resistance? Do you trade breakout? Do you trade order blocks? What's your plan for trading? What do you see that tells you this market is going to go up? What are things you should see that tells you this market is going to go down? How do you set your stop loss? Is it 20 pips? Okay, where do you place your stop loss? Those things are things you should put into a plan before you trade. So make sure you have, if you don't have a trading plan now and you have been trading, make sure you get into your strategy and write out a plan from your strategy and stick to that plan. The third reason is having unrealistic expectations. And this is where flipping accounts come in. Yes, it's possible to flip accounts, especially if you are an experienced trader, but don't have unrealistic goals in trading and that's like saying okay i have this ten dollar account i want to flip it into ten thousand dollars in 24 hours some people might have done it maybe but it is just 
one out of 100 people. And it's just sometimes luck, sometimes it's creativity or, or uh, knowing how the market works. But in most cases, it takes time to grow an account. See your account as something you want to grow and not something you want to flip. Because if you try flipping account, most in most cases, you try flipping into the backside. And you, you, in, most cases, in most cases, you you end up blowing the account. So have a realistic approach, realistic expectation. Have a reasonable risk to reward. Don't be risking $5 to make uh, $800. It does not make sense. Don't be trading $5,000 account and say, okay, this $5,000, I want to... I want to flip it to one and fifty thousand in two days or five days. It is not possible. In most cases, ninety-five percent of the time, you will blow that account. The last one is having a poor risk management, poor risk and money management. When you are a trader, you have to manage your risk, and that means that you know the market is can be for you and can be against you. So anything can happen. So make sure that whenever you are going the trade, you are trying to lose a certain amount of money that is reasonable and that you can make back without too much stress. And that is, for example, let's say you have a $1,000 account and you are entering a trade with just $50. Your stop loss is uh, about $15. If you lose $15 from that trade, it is easy for you to recover that 15 dollars back from the second or the third or the fourth trade you'll be taking than losing like $400 in just one trade. In the next trade you will take, after losing $400, you will be too aggressive and you end up losing all the money. So have a, have a good risk management, sorry. Have a good risk management and don't have a poor one. I hope you got value from this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel make sure you share this with your friends so that they benefit as well and i'll see you in the next video